David, do you take Naji to be your wedded wife? To live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? To love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her so long as you both shall live? I do. Naji, do you take David to be your widowed husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him, so long as you both shall live. I do. says man has shown fallen short of the glory of God and uh, I can't do anything without God and so my vow is to put God first in my life before you because when God is first in my life he will strengthen me by his strength he will teach me to love you he will teach me to consider everything about you before me so that I can love you properly with patience, kindness, understanding, and the way he intended me to love you. That you are an intellectual choice. Like, you are a conscious choice. Those were like big words in psychology, but I'm pretty sure that when I chose you, I have, it was, it was, if they have just scanned my brain, it was really the 100% of it. David and Naji, no other human ties are more tender. No other vows are more sacred than these you are about to assume. You are entering into that holy domain which is the deepest mystery of experience and which is the very sacrament of divine love. Put God first. Because in this relationship, we really recognize that we are not here today if not with her. Thank you. And I vow to pray with you, beside you, through <laughs> video calls. Just pray and support you. And the rest, we will figure it out for the rest of our lives and continue by taking care of each other and loving each other. Just like how Christ models his love to us. Yeah.